KDW. I'm out in the fur shed here and um, got this red fox on the stretcher. He's ready to turn. The other day you saw how my son Luke showed you how we skin flesh and put them on the stretchers. Now I want to show you how we take them off. Um, sometimes when they dry up, the latches here get tight. So what we do, we just bang the nose down on the floor and it gets them loose. The next thing that I'll do and will do is we'll pull the nose off and we'll stick it through like this. Let me show you that again. The nose is on. We pull it off and we stick it through the stretcher like that. Just about even with the eyes. And then what we do next is turn him over and we pull, start pulling him. And what happens, the reason that we stuck his nose through is when you start pulling, the hide starts sliding down the stretcher and the nose will be inverted inside of there and you can't reach it too good. So this way it holds the nose until you get the rest of the fox. Pulled up through like this. And there you go. Okay, now what you got to do, you got to make sure you get the front legs back out through. And sometimes they can be a little stiff, but then sometimes they're not. So just pull, get, get your fingers in there and any way you can get it. And get those front legs out. And one. Two. Okay, after you get the front legs out, I like to put them back on the stretcher, first side out, line them up, pull them down so that the nose is about there. Okay. Straighten them up on there so you, you've got a good pelt. I like to pop the ears up. Now, the last thing that we do before we put them back up to hang and to dry, now you don't have to hook these clips back on unless you want to. I'll run the fine fur brush down with the grain of the way the hair grows. That way you get any little specks of dry blood or ticks or anything like that out. Now that looks pretty good, but we don't stop there. What I do is I'll comb the fur back up and stand it up. What that does, it lets the fur dry like this and it looks very much more um, prime to me. So if it looked good when I combed it down, it looks even better when you comb it backwards. That's how we do it here at Stephen's Family Outdoor. This is JW uh, and we hope this little tip helped you. Just one little thing here and there can make your day go a little bit faster in the fur shed. Have a great day and God bless.